With your coffee in the kids' cup, huh? Coffee in the kids' cup. Yep. Like morning. morning. We got two groups going out this morning. I'm gonna go film Chris in a spot that we scouted yesterday, and Ted and Nick are gonna go into a thicket that we scouted a couple days ago. There was rubs everywhere in there. Frosty, like 29 degrees out. So hopefully the deer are moving. It's so. you and I, brother. <laughs> Something's gonna die this morning. I think hey, so. But anything. Or a hog, where you guys are going. <laughs> is that the new THP Let's Hunt coffee? It is. And it's delicious. I need some THP Let's Poop toilet paper, because that's what's next. <laughs> <laughs> well, me and Nick have had a pretty eventful morning already. We went and parked at the spot that we were originally planning on going to. By the time we got pulled over there, there was already a bunch of people kind of around us in the surrounding lots and as soon as we pulled up a guy come walking up to us and pretty much said he was going to be shooting in that direction even if whether we were there or not we decided to bail out on that spot didn't sound like it was going to be too safe and there was just already a lot of people around there we've now found a spot that doesn't have anybody in it and it's the spot where warp killed his buck on the first day of the trip it's not too far of a walk in here but i think we got enough time to get in there and get set up. It's really frosty this morning, nice and cold, and the deer probably aren't gonna be moving a ton until that frost starts melting off. We should have enough time to get in here and get set up. Yeah, I feel better about this than I did any other spots we were thinking about going. Yeah. And we're not gonna have Jim Bob over there <laughs> shooting at us. Yeah. No Jim Bob threatening us over here.
It's about 4.15 in the afternoon. I obviously didn't go out with Chris this afternoon because I had a bunch of editing work to do and he was going to a tripod where only one guy can sit anyway. And he just called me and said he's got a buck on the ground. I'm seeing a lot of hunters out this evening even though it's a uh, Monday. And I just saw a doe and a fawn right on the side of the road so hopefully they're moving and Ted and Nick will get a chance. But hey, we got a buck on the ground. Hey, no freaking way you did that. <laughs> That's the only thing you've seen? It's the only thing I saw. <laughs> Look. Look. I hit him high. Like, he just rolled over backwards in, the, in those cattails. So I just kind of laid my gun back up there. It didn't even have a new shell in it. I don't remember what I was doing. And all of a sudden, I heard a ruckus. I looked up, and that sucker was running straight to me. And he got about 70 yards from me. And he's just sitting there looking like my direction, but the sun's over my back. I know he doesn't see me. And by this time, I'm trying to figure out where the shells are. He just stayed there long enough. I shot that second time. That sucker knocked my hat clean up off the stand. I thought I heard a grunt went back that way, but it almost sounded like a grunt too, unless there's somebody parked right there. There's here. two trucks parked down the down way there. down there. There's one that's not that far, and then one pretty good ways down. Oh. There's one that's that's definitely going in the south side of that thicket. Right, well, that's the guy that walked in on me. Yeah, he's a big one. He's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> we just watched the show enough good one come across here and ain't got no tag. Can't tell, finally paid off. Look, <laughs> guy walked in on me. He know he come from the south end. South end. He got to all the big rugs over there on the, over where they lay at. He, he was coming straight to me, boy. He done seen all that sign and them scrapes, boy. He was tipping. <laughs> And he looked back at that big room, and he'd walk a little bit, and he'd look back at <laughs> Well, then he'd come around a tree, and he'd seen me, and he and he just threw his hands up. And, <laughs> like.
shooting light. We didn't really get eyes on any deer except for the ones that we bumped on the way in. There's definitely quite a few of them hanging out back in here. It's just kind of a tough place to hunt. Coyotes. Not very far off. Good thing Cole Booth's not here. <laughs> We'd be freaked out. <laughs> that one sounds pissed off. Uh -huh. They sound like they just got a fresh kill. 2.15 miles. 2.15 miles. We've got all the way back to the truck, so I don't know if we'll be back in here or not. Probably not. So, silent off. <laughs> Holy crap, Chris. <laughs> that th that's a hammer, man. That's a toad. That's a tank. He just turned and went straight away. And I got lucky. <laughs> I shot him right there. First shot. Knocked him down. Knocked him down. And then he come running right to me. That's a heck of a buck. Hammer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Said Nick are gonna like that. I texted him and said I shot a toe. He said, heck yeah. He's been dodging bullets out here all, well, quite literally for a month. Yep. Let's pull him out of there and go show the boys. Yep. <laughs> That's freaking awesome, man. <laughs> Look at that buck. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully tomorrow's gonna be a better day for you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we struggled pretty good today, but. I think tomorrow we'll have a little better luck. Just keep bouncing around to these thickets, finding a good amount of deer sign. Just gotta be in the right place at the right time at some point. We got next three days to hunt, so I think we'll run into something in that time frame. I'm going home. I'm out of here in the morning at four o'clock, and Ted and Nick are gonna stay and hunt with Chris a few more days, and whatever action they have, we'll bring to you later on after this next series of videos which might which might be south dakota south dakota or the iowa deer drives maybe. oh yeah it might be iowa deer drives but hopefully it's to be continued here in the next couple days what time are we getting up 4 30. warb just make sure you kick coffee on when you get up and roll <laughs> i'll do it be much appreciated all right big buck <laughs> <laughs> see you guys